Hey guys, Tom Bullington here, Keller Williams Premier Realty. It is Thursday, January 16th, 2020, and uh, a little bit chilly out there, isn't it? I think it was negative two last time I looked. Um, so it's about recording this around 20 after 12 on Thursday afternoon, and uh, yeah, a bit chilly. My son was out with our dog earlier, and... Uh, Dog didn't want to stay out very long, and nor did my son. So it is definitely uh, a chilly one out there. Hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, the community and uh, the communities and how you pick a home in certain communities. If that's something that you're interested in doing, because um, you get lots of you know, if you are looking for a home actively out there, looking for a home, your realtor hopefully is giving you a number of homes that meet your specifications, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, uh, how many stalls you want in the garage, uh, how big a yard, things like that, square feet and such. And there's, you know, when we do searches for clients, they will give us typically the communities in which they'd like to live. So let's just say Lakeville or Rosemount or Apple Valley, etc. And so we'll, we will set the search specifications, the parameters up for those particular communities. And it, it's always interesting to me that folks are sometimes saying, okay, well, we can't find something in the communities we wanna live in. Let's broaden our search out a little bit and maybe pick out a house that is perfect for us, but it's in a place that we wouldn't really necessarily wanna live um, most of the time. So like it's in an outlying community where it's a little bit farther away from work or it's in a more urban setting that they that they wouldn't prefer living in. So one of the things that um, you really want to look for when you are searching for a home is what community would you like to live in? Uh, would you like to live in a smaller town that has um, a little bit more of a hometown feel to it, something like a Hastings? Or do you want something that is more of a traditional suburb like a Lakeville or an Apple Valley that may have more of the traffic and may have more amenities as far as shopping, restaurants, the traditional chain restaurants, hotels, things like that? Or do you want something that's a little bit more charming and uh, that has a, a more of a small town, hometown feel to it? So, uh, of course, I, I live in Hastings and I've been based here, uh, so I'm a little bit more biased toward Hastings and um, being in a little bit more um, community-oriented place where people know their neighbors a little bit more and people know the community rather than something that is um, a larger community that you don't, you have anonymity in there. You go to the grocery store, you don't know anyone. Uh, you go to a restaurant, you don't run into someone that you know or that you go to church with. Um, smaller towns, you, you have that. You run into that a little bit more. Even like a Rosemount um that definitely happens as well too. So a little bit smaller community or like an Elko or um, communities like that. So Cottage Grove even a little bit too. So um, those are some things to kind of keep in mind as far as when you're out there looking, you might find the perfect house, but it may not be in the community in which you'd like to live. Another thing too, if you have school-aged children, schools are a huge part of what you might want to look for. Um, and I think we'll just do a video down the road here uh, specifically about finding a place in a school district that you would like to live. Um, hey, and I am doing a special gift card. If you've watched the video this, this long, um, absolutely uh, thank you. <laughs> so if you've watched the video this long, you are in for a treat. We are going to give away a $50 gift card to um, a local restaurant here in Hastings. My friends actually own and operate it. It's called the Lock and Dam Cafe or Lock and Dam Eatery, actually. Um, it's at 101 2nd Street in Hastings. Here, like the main, the main drag downtown in Hastings, right by the new bridge. And they are um, a great restaurant. We go there often, maybe not as often as we should but they have incredible food. They also have these, if you've watched on my Hastings Happenings page, they have igloos out on, out on the patio and they're heated 
and it's fun. You can eat out on the patio in January at the Lock and Dam Cafe or Lock and Dam Eatery, sorry. <laughs> um, so check it out. And we are giving away a $50 gift card. So if you send me, if you direct message me, or you could put it in the comments if you like, but you can DM me as well, um, or call me with your email address. If you are out there watching and you would like a $50 gift card to the Lock and Dam Eatery, um, please send me your email address. You will be entered into a contest to get a drawing into the, um, the $50 gift card for Lock and Dam Eatery here in downtown Hastings. And if you're in Hastings, please take a look around and, uh, <clears throat> and shop and take a look at our beautiful downtown here. So my email address, Tom Bullington, B-U-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N, so Tom Bullington, all one word, at kw.com. You can email me your email address or you can text me 651-402-6356. If you send me your email address, you will be automatically entered into the drawing for the $50 gift card at the Lock and Dam Eatery here in downtown Hastings. They are open Tuesday through Sunday. Um, Tuesday through Friday, they are open. Um, so Tuesday, it's 11 to 8. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they are open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, they are open. Um, Saturday, they're open 12 to 9 Sunday, they're open 12 to 8, and then they take a day off on Monday, so which is kind of traditional for family-owned restaurants. Um, incredible food. Their menu is online. I will link to it in the comments below, but it's basically, it's the lockanddameatery.com, so lockanddameatery.com. You can check it out there. Um, great food. Never had even a remotely bad meal there. Service is great. Homey, nice, fun location. And um, they're just really friendly folks. So please check it out. Um, if you don't win the gift card, please go anyway. But I will get you the, uh, the gift card. If you can get that to me, your email address by January 31st, I will enter you into the drawing. And then we will do a live drawing here on this blog or on this video. Um, and you will be named as the, um, the winner of the gift card. Also, if you send me your email address, uh, I will uh, send you just a quick market update for the area, for the South Metro area. Um, and then also um, just putting you in the drawing for the following gift card. We're gonna do a $50 gift card to local restaurants every month. So just something to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this. I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye.